Hello again, it's Jens Boimler speaking from Aparo, Germany. Today I want to create a TM1 cube based on report data from Cognos Analytics. So um, I have a report here, it's a Cognos Analytics report. This is a simple list based on the sample data. So it's go sales and we have um, years and quarters, product line, product type, regions and countries, some measures. And it's a relational model and I want to create a TM1 cube based on this data. And um, now we switch to our server and of course we need um, a tool for this and I want to show it um, with a performance modeler. The reason why I use performance modeler is um, the tool have a possibility to connect directly to Cognos Analytics packages and reports. So um, I start performance modeler and we have a new cube. It's a team one server here. It's of Cognos. So, and in the performance modeler, we have a guided import. If you click with the right mouse button here um, on cubes, it's this menu guided import, and we import a cube. So, import Cognos data. And from type, we choose report data. So this is our connection to our Cognos server. And we go to the content. And of course, it's possible to go to our sources and use this report, TM1 cube data. Then we get a, um, a preview from this data and this import wizard. I go to the next step create an automatic mapping from all the columns to a dimension structure. If we don't like it, it's no problem. We can clear all mappings and let's do it manually. So I have to drag and drop all these columns to the right position here. So we have a dimension all years with levels, years and quarter. We have a new dimension all products with product line and product type. Next one is the dimension all regions with the levels on sales region and country. And of course we have to drag and drop the two measures here in the measure container. Okay, then we can edit some properties or so. Um, maybe we can generate a count measure. We can rename the cube. It's great outdoors, G-O-T-M-1 cube. Oh, it's a dimension name. It's not a cube name. Okay, but no problem. So let's um, go further. I want to show it in a very fast um, way. So that's all. We create now all these dimensions and we can load the data into these new dimensions and the cube is created. Um, we have these dimensions here, we have the cube and of course it's possible to um, do some changes here maybe um, for all regions. I want to create a subset, a subset for Europe for Europe and maybe Europe is only, okay, I can delete some members here. So it is only Central Europe, Northern Europe, Southern Europe, Australia is not Europe. So this is my subset and that's all folks. So save changes. Doot, doot, doot. Now I have to connect to this cube from Cognos Analytics. And we have some simple steps here. First step is we have to go to 
data server connections. I will start it again here so I close everything. So we go to um, manage data server connections and add a data server. It's TM1 GO cube. Then connection type we choose IBM planning analytics and go next. The database host, okay, it's um it's your local host because it's on the same server. Local host, but the port number you have to look at your configuration or ask a TM1 administrator. We need this port number here, HTTP port number. It's 5019. Let's copy and paste it. And your tip, um, use SSL, have to set to false in this configuration file. So then we'll go back, port number. And of course, we need a sign on. So use sign on, add sign on. It's the user and password from the team one cube. So it's done. And let's test the connection. And that is, that's all. We have a connection to our team one server. Next step is we have to create a data module from our new cube and then we go to the new data connection here, TM1 Go Cube. Click on th three dots here and we have assets. Then we get a list with all cubes. And of course, for this cube, we want to create a data module. That's a Cognos Analytics data module. So let's choose in team content here a new name. It's G O T M one cube. So that's all. Cognos Analytics create now a new data module and it's possible to use it directly. It's now in our team content. Here we are, it's a new data module. Let's have a look. Maybe um, create a dashboard and Let's have a look at the structure from our cube. Okay, we have three dimensions. Great, all years, all years, year quarter, products with levels, product line and product type. Very nice. Here's our subset. It's our subset Europe. And then we can create maybe a cross tab for for the beginning here, let's try to use the subset in the rows and maybe all product lines in the columns and in the measures here we have the quantity and the values. Here we are, the cube is working, it's great. Looks very good. And of course you can use the assistant, maybe Let's try to create a dashboard. Ah, we have a problem at the moment. Normally it's working here. Um, you can create a dashboard. I'm not sure on, on this. Okay, no problem. Um, some other tips. Remember, we have a data module. So, um... Now I want to refresh here. We have a data module and this data module contains our TM1 cube. So let's have a look at this data module. Here we are. We can create now some calculations. For example, to have special time members, relative time members, maybe a current year. So we can use Cognos macros. In this example, I want to drag and drop a year. So we have years members. So my actual year is 
this one. And of course, it's possible to use a Cognos macro um, to use a, the current date function and um, have a calculation here for the member unique name. It's current year. And of course, I want to have the prior year. It's no problem. Next one calculation. So it's prior year. So I can use all dimensional functions in Cognos Analytics. So it's pref member, pref member based on our calculation current year. Or you want to have all quarters, no problem. Calculation all quarters from current year. So it's children, children from our current year, here we are, that's all. So that means it's possible to combine our TM1 cube with our calculations here in the data module. I click on save and go back to our dashboard. We create a new dashboard, create dashboard. And let's try it. So maybe um, let's have a stacked bar chart. We use the quantity as a measure and we use all quarters from current year. It's so simple. Current year, we only have three quarters, Q1, two and three, and maybe we can combine it again with um, the regions, sales region here in the color. So it's great. We have all the power from Cognos Analytics based on a team one cube combined with calculations. So maybe some of you will use team one in future for creating OLAP models for Cognos Analytics. Have fun.